We're talking to John Sebastian about Mississippi John Hurt. What do you got there, John? Well, uh, this is another tune. Uh, this time it's in G. And this was one of his signature tunes and one of the ones that famously caused people to ask, who was the second guitarist on this tune? So uh, he would start with this... Uh, So that's the frame. Spike Driver Blues. Beautiful. This is Avalon's My Hometown. It's one of uh, John Hurt's tunes that uh, he did in E. And uh, I love it because it can really get a crowd going with that thumb thing. goes on a little longer, but uh, the fact is that uh, I, I love the reference to Avalon, which I did visit, and which is a store and a house. Um, and uh, it's, of course, the tune that, that made it possible for all of us to find John Hurt and to hear him play eventually. Hey, do me a favor for the guitar playing public over there. That repeating riff that you play around the E chord. Yeah. Could you slow that down and break it down a little bit so yes. people can see what the thumb deal is? Yes. So uh, what uh, I'm doing, the two elements are this recurring octave thumb idea. And then... rolling off of the open uh, G onto an open B and open E. So it's going... And that's just... So... That's the bottom. Here's the top. to do without doing the other part. <laughs> Happy 
Vitram, what are you going to play for us today? So one of my favorite John Hurt songs is his uh, Monday Morning Blues. Um, one of the reasons I like it so much is that it's got this great little line. Uh, it's in the key of A. And he always did this sort of what we call a long A where you've got this A note here at the top on the first string. And you're barring the second fret there to get that A. But he goes to a D. The thing starts on your D, the four chord. And he goes up here on the um, fifth fret and seventh fret. And he uses this great, cool little open string before he comes back to the A. I'll just play that one time for you, see what, you can see what the thing sounds like all together, and then I'll come back and break it down. Verses, um, but this cool thing starts on the four chord. And then sliding up into this A. But of course, keeping that bass going the way John Hurt did all the time. And the other thing I love the way John Hurt played was he would put in this little um, first finger note here before he pinched these. That little motion. And then you can come up to this. And then a little bass line which is really typical of the things John Hurt did when he was in the key of A, coming down to this C sharp to a C to a B. Then a little hammer there. So. And then instead of doing a full turnaround like you might hear, he just did this little So once again, I'll just do the whole thing real slow here. Steve James with a brief demonstration of Mississippi John Hurt's Casey Jones. We're in the key of G. When you listen to John Hurt's original, he's capoed at the third fret, so he's in B flat, but the arrangement is in the actual key of G. We use a G chord, a 
G7 chord, a C chord, a big A chord with a high A up here. Remove your fourth finger to get the F sharp in the melody. A D chord. No, you no need to play this high F sharp. It's not in the melody. And back to the G. The bass line is on the G chord. Extended thumb, sixth string to fourth string. With Mississippi John Hurt's favorite lick, the occasional introduction of the fifth string. The C chord, simply the fifth string and fourth string, C and E. The A chord, similarly, fifth and fourth string, A and E. The D chord, also the fifth and fourth string in the bass, A and D. Pedaling that A through the changes from A to D, also very Mississippi John Hurt. And then we're back to G. When you play the D chord, to transition back to the G, fifth to fourth string bass line with the B on the fifth string of the second fret. The melody. As usual with Mississippi John Hurt, this is a workout for your little fourth finger jumping around there to get all those 